For this next America's Cup, they're using foiling 75-foot monohulls. They haven't been sailing yet, but based on what we've seen from the test boats, they're going to be moving the Traveler much quicker than we've seen any other boat do before. These boats are different in that they are foiling monohulls and they're going very quickly. So the changes in the apparent wind are going to happen very quickly. In order to keep that best angle of attack, they're always going to be moving the Traveler, and that's what we're seeing with the test boats right now. Uh, so this is what we're calling our high-speed CRX Traveler test. It's meant to cycle the Traveler cars at about the same speed that we expect they'll be using on the boats. So I've got two cars here, um, both loaded with identical sets of rollers, uh, a load cell in between, a turnbuckle to adjust the tension, and then I've got two hydraulic cylinders, one to pull the car each way, and then we have a lot of lead weight here hanging. My goal is to get it to average about 80% of max working load, which is typical for when we cycle test things to determine their longevity. So I started out by testing Torlon rollers to establish a baseline. After the Torlon test, I tested high-performance plastic. Uh, Italy uses it a lot for the winches. I tested both bronze rollers and aluminum rollers, looking to see if something metallic would give us more durability and more life out of the roller. After I tested those materials, I found that the tour line that Harkin has been using is still the best performing roller for a traveler car, but we're always looking to improve in the future and we're always going to be looking for a better roller. 